Okay, praise Jesus, we're back here, and um, it's my last testimony from um, a testimony that we're going to do <laughs> today um, from the Augusta for Jesus Conference, Healing Conference, and this gentleman here, he came last night, I saw him worshiping, he's a true worshiper, worships in spirit and truth, I saw him um, in a back row, right back here, uh, when I was ministering, and I just wanted him to kind of give his his thoughts on the conference and and you know his his testimony well praise God um, on last night I came talking to the Lord I knew I need some, God to do something for me and on my way here I was just telling the Lord I said God I'm struggling in my prayer life not really reading the word God what's going on God I need strength God I feel like I'm just drained and on coming in here on last night, uh, I saw how God moved in such a mighty way and how he delivered the people. And, you know, I'm just so much in expectation and just believing God to do something for me. And as um, you was ministering to the people and you was telling the people, what would you have God do for you? It was so many things that I wanted God to do, but it was one particular thing I really wanted God to do, that was strength. And as you began to pray for me uh, and begin, God began to use you, I felt that strength come back in me, and uh, it really blessed me. I tell you, you know, and, and the Lord told you, even after the service, you know, I was sharing some stuff with you, and you said, the Lord said, um, revive. And I said, okay, God, that's what that was. <laughs> I need to be revived. Yes, and as yes. um, Pastor Small was saying, sometimes when you have people pulling from you, you have to get something put back in yourself. When they're pulling mm -hmm. from the Spirit of God in you, and you know, I would just had everybody pulling from me, family members. And mm -hmm. you know, when I, I got to the point, I was just like, God, what's going on? God, I'm just, I'm struggling. My prayer life, I'm not really fasting, and it bothered with me. Mm -hmm. And on last night, it just really blessed me that God used you to revive my spirit. And I also slept like a baby last okay. night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Praise Jesus. Praise I just, Jesus. I tell you, um, you know, I thank God for that. I really needed that because, you know, I would just, sometimes, you know, uh, God has a way of using um, certain people in his ministry to um, bring deliverance. And I really thank God for just allowing me to be here on last day. And I really left out with deliverance. I left out being revived and I just had to come back today. And I really thank God for it. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus, yes. praise Jesus. You know, I want you know, to say something about that too because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, similar situation that you are in, that you were in, you yes. were in, where people pulling from you and he feel like he don't want to fast no more, he feel like he don't want to pray no more. A lot of times, it's the people that you're around. Those people are not encouraging you. If he lives close to me, I'll say, okay, come on, come and pray a mountain with me. Come pray with me for two or three hours. He's going to be, he'll be more motivated to go to pray, to fast, yes. to, yes. you know, I say, hey, come with me, let's go heal some people at the Salvation Army. Or let's, it'll revive him, it'll make him more, you know, stronger are the things of God. Yeah. But if you're around people that smoke and curse and all, it can just drag you down. Yes. You can minister to them for a while, but you can't live with them and be around them all the yes. time. You gotta yes. remove yourself from that. You gotta just get in your secret place. Mm -hmm. You have to get a secret place. You have to get a prayer mountain. That's a tip. You have to have a prayer mountain, you have a secret place. Your secret place can be your prayer mountain. Mm -hmm. Try to make it outside if you can. Don't worry if it's cold. Go pray in the cold for Jesus. It's okay. Yes. If you do, it's gonna help you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank it's, you, it's, Jesus. It's gonna help you. Pray yes. in the cold. Pray in the winter. Pray in the summer. Go outside. Pray like Jesus did. He went to the mountain and prayed for forty days and forty nights. Yes. You gotta get away from bad influences that pull from you and bring you down spiritually. Okay? Because then you find yourself doing what they do. You don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Then your life go down even more. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. amen. So that's a good point. I'm happy you gave you testimony. Everybody, those people that's pulling from you, you know, try to separate yourself. Get to, get into your secret place. Ask the Lord to strengthen you and give you boldness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything else you want to say to them? Well, uh, pretty much uh, when you get your strength revived, stay around some people, stay around that fire. Um, the more you stay around people that's, that has a heart for God's people, has a heart for people in general, and 
the more you stay around the fire, the the more you 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 you'll have your spirit man revive, and the more you can continue to to do the work that God calls you to do. That's a blessing, man. Thank you very much for the testimony. Jesus, we give you praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, man. Okay. Bless Jesus. Okay. Thank you, guys. We will. Uh, I'll be back uh, with the next conference, Brooklyn for Jesus, next in a couple weeks. Get ready. Bless Jesus. <laughs>